Hi guys, I'm Miss Happiness Life at IDC Center. Today we'll be looking at WIEC questions. We'll be solving some questions on WIEC. So I would like you to join me as we look at this question. Simplify 1 over 2 log 10 log 25 over 4 base 10 minus 2 log 4 over 5 base 10 plus log 320 over 125 base 10. All these questions are all in base 10. Now let's simplify. Solution. 1 over 2 log 25 over 4 base 10 minus 2 log 4 over 5 base 10 plus log 320 over 1, 2, 5 base 10. Now if you look at this log, this is 1 over 2. We have to move, we are going to move it this other way. We have log to 25 over 4 all to the power of 1 over 2 minus log 4 over 5 all to the power. Let's move over here. Raise the power 2 plus log 320 over 1, 2, 5 to base 10. Now 1 over 2 is the square root of both. So we're going to look for the square root of this and square what we have there, 4 over 5. Log square root of 25 will give you what? 5. Square root of 4 will give you 2. Minus log 4 raised to power 2. Since it's in a bracket, this, the power on top affects both numbers. So 4 raised to the power 2 will give you 16. Over 4 raised to, 5 raised to the power 2 is 5 times 5, which is what? 25. Plus log 320 over 1, 2, 5. Now, if you look at the log, laws of log, addition goes with multiplication. And subtraction goes with what? Division. So we bring the two signs, the, the positive one, one side, which is log 5 over 2 plus log 320 over 1, 2, 5, all to base 10, minus log 16 over 25, all to base 10. Now, since they are together, I can use they are all in base 10 i bring them all to base 10 so i bring this 5 over 2 multiply by 320 over 1 to 5 all divided by 16 over 25 16 over 25 so from here i have 5 Multiply 5 over 2 multiply by 320 over 120. Now 5 times 320 will give us what? One two five. Thank you. One two five. So we have five here, one, five here will give you what? Twenty-five. Two year, one, two year will give you what? 160. So for the numerator, we have log to base 10. 1 times 160 will give you 160. All over 1 times 25 will give you 25. For the denominator, we still have our 16 over 25. So from here, we interpret this to be log to base 10, 160 divided by 25. This division sign, when it turns to multiplication, the numerator goes up and the denominator comes down. So this can cancel this. 16, 1, 16 here will give you what? 10. So we have log to base 10 or 10. And remember the log, laws of log. Log of a number to the same base is equal to what? 1. So our final answer becomes 1. So when you are simplifying a question like this, you will, first of all, know this rule, that the addition turns towards multiplication, brings them, bring them together. Then the subtraction 
turns towards so division. You're able to divide them and then you arrive at your answer. Question two. In the Venn diagram, P, Q, and R are subsets of a universal set U. If N of U is equal 1, 2, 5, find the value of X. Question 2, I, I. N of U union Q intersection R prime. So we'll start with the I. To find the value of X, we have to sum everything in this set. Equate it to the universal set 1, 2, 5. So we have, we pick each of the sets. P, we have 16 minus 2x plus 5x plus 4x plus 8x. Going on to the next one, since we have picked the intersection, there's no need repeating it again. So we'll go on to the next one. Plus 6 plus x plus 7x plus 19 minus 3x plus 4 equal 1, 2, 5. The next step now is to collect like terms. Numbers to numbers and the one that has x to each other. We have 16 plus 6 plus 19 plus 4 minus 2x plus 5x plus 4x plus 8x plus x plus 7x minus 3x equal 1, 2, 5. Now if you sum all these, you have what? 45. And if you minus 2 plus Minus, minus 2x plus, my, plus 5x will give you positive 3x. Plus 4x will give you 7x. Plus 8x will give you what? Plus this is what? 20, 16. Plus the 23. Minus 3x will give you what? 20. So it's positive 20x equals 1, 2, 5. Now the next, we cross this over to this other side by still collecting of like 10. So we have 20x is equal to 1, 2, 5. Since 45 is crossing the equality sign becomes minus 45. 20x is equal to what? 80. Now to make s the subject of the formula, I divide by the coefficient of x, which is 20. So if I divide by 20, divide by 20, 20 cancel 20 x become what? 0 cancel 0, 2 year 1, 2 year 4. So x is 4. 2 i i. Find n of p union q intersection r prime. Now union tells you everything in p and everything in q. Intersection is where they meet. They are meeting point. And the prime or the Complement is what is not in R that is outside the other set. So we have N, that is the cardinality, the number of everything here. P union Q is everything in P and everything in Q. And we've already solved X to be equal to 4. So if we substitute 4 for X, we have 16 minus 2, 4. For the union, we also have plus 5, 4, plus 6, plus 4. Now, R prime, this is R, and this is a set of R. Since it is primed, we will not touch anything inside of it. It is a complement of it. So the complement of R is everything outside R. So everything outside R is just P union Q. So the complement... We don't need R. R is outside this question. So we just pick these two. And since our X is equal to 4, we substitute and arrive at our answer. So this becomes 16 minus 4 times 2, 8, plus 5 times 4 will give you what? 20 plus 4 
plus 6 will give you what? 10. So, 16 minus 8 will give you what? 8 plus 20 plus 10. So, we end up having everything. Number of what? P union Q intersection R prime to be equal to what? 38. Question 3. The following table shows the distribution of the test score in a class. This is the table. We have to, if question A says, if the mean score of the class is 6, find the value of K. I, I, the median score. B, draw the bar chart of the distribution. Now we're going to start solving from A. From A. Since the mean score is given, we illustrate our solution in a diagrammatical form. Score, which is our X column. The scores we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 10. The number of pupils, which is our frequency, are 1, 1, 5, 3, K squared plus 1, 6, 2, 3, and 4. So these are two columns. We multiply our Fx to give us this next column, Fx. So we are going to multiply F by X. So 1 times 1 gives 1. 2 times 1, 2. 3 times 5, 15. 4 times 3, 12, 5 times k square will give you 5k square plus 5 times 1, 5, 7 times 6, 42, 8 times, 8 times 2, 16, 9 times 3, 27, and 10 times this will give you what? 40. Now, formula for mean says, Summation of what? Fx over summation F. This is our column for Fx. So we're going to sum this. And we're also going to sum this. So in summing this, we have 1 plus 1, 2 plus 5, plus 3, plus this one, 11, plus 6, 17, plus 2, plus 3, 20, 19 plus 3 plus 4, 26. So we have 26. We have 26 plus our k square for summation f. Then our summation fx. 1 plus 2 plus 15 plus 12 plus 5 plus 42 plus 16 plus 27 plus 40. We we'll add just like numbers to numbers and this one has a constant so we'll add it by the side if you sum all this you have 160 plus what 5k square so since the mean is given from the question as 6 so we equate this to 6 so we have 160 plus 5k square all over 26 plus k square equal to what 6 equals 6. So I cross multiply. If you cross multiply, you have 160 plus 5k square equals 6 into the bracket of 26 plus k square. Are we together? 160 plus 5k square will give us 6 times 26. 6 times 6 is what? 36. 6 times 2 is 12, so 156 plus 6k square. So collect like terms, 160, if 156 cross the equality sign becomes a negative number, equals 6k square. 5k cross the equality sign becomes 5k square. 160 minus 156 will give you 4.
equal 6k square minus 5k square will give you what? K square. K square. We are looking for k, not k square. So to get k, I'll square both sides. So if I square both sides, square of this will cancel each other. So I have k, so it becomes what? Square root of 4. And square root of 4 is what? 2. So our final answer for k, k becomes what? 2. If k is 2, if you substitute 2 here, we end up having our summation of f to be what? 30. So this is 4. So our summation of f becomes 30. And our summation of fx becomes 180. I, I, the middle score. Now, to find the median, the median is always the middle number. Now, if you look at K has already been given as what? From our question one, as four, as two, plus this you have what? 30. If you look at our frequency, the median falls in between the what? Five and seven. Since it's two, you add them together, divided by two. So this gives us 12 divided by two which is equal to C. So the median, the middle, the median is equal to six. B. C. If a pupil is picked at random from the class, what is the probability that he or she will score less than six? So we are going to solve probability that he or she will score less than six. Now looking at the numbers of pupils in the class and their score, the score that is less than six is one, two, three, four, five. These are the score less than six. So we're going to sum this over the total, the sum of the frequency. So it becomes probability of score less less than six over total of pupils. Now probability of score less than six is one plus one plus five plus three plus five over the sum of frequency is what? 30. So if you add this, five plus five is 10 plus this 13, 14, 15, so we have it will be 15 over 30. 15 year will give you what? One. 15 year will give you what? Two. So therefore, probability of score less than six is equal to one over two.